So to get a user's profile, we have the route slash API slash users slash profile and then the user's ID at the very end. Now we're catching errors when we're using the get user profile handler, but in fact, as you'll soon see, we don't need to catch any errors because this won't be an async await function. Since we're getting the user by ID with get user by ID and putting the user data from our find one call on request.profile within get user profile we can access that value and say if we don't have request.profile if we don't have any user data passed to us here we can return with res.status 404 with some JSON and a message saying no user found but if we have a user if we have a valid ID for a user and say res.json and just pass down request.profile. So now we can save and head to postman and we can get all of our users from our slash API slash users endpoint. We can grab one of their IDs, go to slash API slash users slash profile and then add the user ID at the very end and hit send. We should in this case get all of John's data. We get our list of users one more time. We try to get Jane's data or Jane's profile according to our ID. We hit send. That should return successfully. And one final note about this Notice that we're not getting any hash or salt values returned to us when we make that find one request according to user's ID. We're getting only the data that will be relevant and showing in a profile page. User's avatar, their ID, name, email, created at, updated at fields, and the users that they're following and their followers.